I built a custom CRM. It's built in no-code tools, Airtable and Make specifically, and I'm going to give it to you for free. And on this video, I'm going to share uh, at the end where you can get it. But in the meantime, what it is all about and how you can modify it for yourself. So it's got two components. One is a make automation that automatically grabs every event from your calendar. It checks it against a, an internal block list. And if it's not, if a domain on the attendees list is not on the block list, it adds it as either a new opportunity or it links it to an existing opportunity for you automatically. It uh, works whether you use Calendly, whether you, you book sales calls manually on your calendar, whether somebody else invites you, all those cases. Why did I do it that way? Because I hated updating the CRM. I wanted to know quickly whether we had a call booked with somebody or when the, when the last call date was, whether they showed up on that call and all those things, our average number of calls to close. And I, I couldn't do that with off-the-shelf CRMs. So I built it this way. And of course, this is all built in a, a no-code tool called Make. And that will mean you can modify it to suit your needs. The other component is an Airtable uh, backend dashboard, or the base and backend dashboard, uh, front end dashboard and backend base. And it's got a couple of things on it that I, I, I really like. Hopefully you like them too. If you don't like them, that's okay. You could delete them because this is all open source. So uh, there's a couple of things. Number one is I realized I didn't really understand close rate and, and show rate, right? It's because it's not as simple as show rate on a call because whether someone showed up on their first call or their second call or the third call with you is entirely different. And so I realized the most the, the most accurate way, the way that made the most sense to me to track was uh, the first call results. So that's what we've got here. So this is the first call with a new prospect, and you can see the percentage of those first calls where there's no offer, there are no show, they canceled, um, there's the pending results. Maybe there's no offer yet, but they, you know, you're, you, you think they're a good fit or you actually make an offer on the first call. So you, as you can see with the sample data set we've got here, 50% ish of all these records have an offer on the first call. The other thing I realized I didn't quite understand was close percentage. So here's what I mean by that. Uh, if you do B2B sales, you probably have more than one call that you have with a prospect before they close. All right. So if let's say you have two prospects, very simple case, you have two prospects, uh, you book two calls with them. The first one closes on the first call. The second one closes after two or three calls. Is your close percentage 100%? or something else like is it 50 is it whatever like what do you actually calculate for that so i realized that the most the, the fairest way to compare would be what is the opportunity status after two calls after two calls are there still calls occurring do we have a a call a follow up call booked with them still have they told uh, have we made a verbal offer and we're waiting for them to sign the contract and actually pay uh, what's the actual percentage, right? So I figured that would be the thing. Um, you know, you can have a graph here of the number of deals at each stage of the pipeline. You can modify these pipeline stages yourself if you uh, if you want to, or use it off the shelf as is. And you can, of course, label the deal source by channel, and you can customize your own channel list. So as you can see with the sample data set, um, we've got a couple months worth of data here. And you can see the uh, the deal sources, the MRR value, of course. I realize like why I'm doing the MRR value is I realize that like that was the fairest way to estimate value for a deal at the beginning because of just how like of course you can change this to like LTV if you want to. And then the other one I realized it was important to track is the average calls to close metric and the average days to close. So the reason that's here is because. You know, if you close a, 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 in in September, let's say you close uh, people on average after two calls, and you close the exact same number of deals, but in October you go down to like one and a half calls on average to close, your sales process has gotten better, and so it's important to track that metric. And then the days to close as well, right? If you have uh, a bunch of if you have a a bunch of deals and people are like, oh yeah, talk to us next quarter, talk to us next quarter, and then you change something about your sales process, and all of a sudden it's like, oh yeah, we should be good by tomorrow or next week, 
your sales process has improved and so it's important to track calls and average days to close and of course you can track that on, on graphs and things like that over uh, over a month by month and track deal source for calls close whatever else so like there's lots and lots and lots of back-end data that you can use uh, the way that you'd modify this right, it's just you can you can click on any of these things and you can modify the appearance of this right if you're if you're familiar with Airtable at all this should be pretty easy for you you could also just leave this thing as as is and let it run so here are the instructions we have instructions for installing this if you'd rather us do this for you there's a link here you can book that in and we can we can modify this for you we can link this up to your your project management systems uh, we can do whatever so um, otherwise there's instructions here with like really clear screenshots and things like that as well um, for how you how you link this up um, and yeah this is the back-end table system so hopefully you enjoy this if you have ideas for how we can make this better leave a comment below this video and I will also leave a uh, a, like a, a, in a link in the description for how you can access the CRM. Download it, download all the instructions, all the source code, everything that you want. So, or you could just go here, opskings.gumbro.com slash L slash CRM. Um, but I will link this below as well. And I hope that you enjoy this. Hopefully it makes you a lot of money. And uh, yeah, that's all for today. Peace out.